We all know the butter-salted variety, but how about olive oil and herb, or hazelnut chocolate and Belgian peppermint? These words were music to Jonathan's ears. I'm a massive popcorn fan. I love it at the movies. I love it at home. I love it on the road. I even love it for dessert with a little bit of ice cream on the side. So when I heard that there was a gourmet popcorn store opening, well, this was my first reaction. Alerting much of Joburg to this new gem has been food blogger Angie Battis Durrant. Her combination of mouth-watering photos and a nose for a compelling story is an irresistible combination. <laughs> how are you ladies? Hi. Angie, you've got to tell me, how did you find this little gem? I like to showcase new and interesting places that have opened up in and around Johannesburg and in turn pop them up onto my blog so that my readers know about them. And to tell you the truth, I don't have a sweet tooth, I have a mouth full of sweet tea. So when I heard about Maverick and Jane, I was like, they're like flipped. The novelty snack trends seem to be mm. really taking off globally and it's good to see South Africa's keeping up. So I think where Maverick and Jane have hit the sweet spot is they've taken a traditional classic snack like popcorn that everybody loves and they've introduced flavors that people have probably never heard of before, never tried. And I think what's really cool is that they use real ingredients in everything. So it's real butter, real chocolate, real caramel. So you just want to keep coming back for more, which you do. Angie, oh. let's have a taste. Yes. Oh, look at all of this goodness. Start. This is crazy. Where do we even begin? My most favorite has to be the red velvet cake popcorn. Of course, of course. So it's literally like biting into your childhood, but I'll let you taste. And mm -hmm. then so what have we got here? A bit of some cake so, there. Cake, cream cheese, white cream chocolate, cheese, white caramel. chocolate, all of that on one little popcorn kernel. And it's That's all insane. real. Mm. Wow. It's good, hey? Just got transported back to my childhood, you're right. Yeah. Have fun. Angie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to catch up with the mastermind behind all Absolutely. of this. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks for having it's lovely me. Lovely chatting to you. Cheers. But before I do that, I'm going to tuck into every single one of these little babies. Sweet or savory, they've got your taste buds covered. And we're good. The business took seed in the mind of chartered accountant Rehan Jatam when his clients began acquiring grain land across the world and he became familiar with maize. You, my friend, are proof that not all accountants are boring. <laughs> How did this happen? To be honest, I think it was just a combination of passion and skill and experience and, and a real, a real uh, you know, deep-seated desire to share something. You've been all over the world as a chartered accountant. You are one of the country's top accountants. How did this novelty popcorn store come about? Given my passion for food and, and my skill sets in, 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 in building businesses in the past, I really wanted to bring something brand new to South Africa, something that's unique, uh, something that, that would push boundaries, uh, not, not only in terms of the store look, feel, layout, the, the actual popcorn, the taste, flavors, something that, that would leave people arriving excited and leaving happy. As a small startup, they had to prove their business model to farmers and convince landlords that popcorn was enough to sustain a business. There's quite clearly a very strong adventure theme behind the concept with leather straps for casing and the binoculars. Is that where the name came from as well? The brand really stands for a life of endless opportunity, ambition, possibility. Really, you know, each person stretching their own boundaries, you know, in whatever sphere it may be. Rayhan chose a corn that's larger, offers good taste and texture with a husk that doesn't catch in the throat. Okay, there it is, the secret ingredient, the brass can corn. And what we, we, we typically do is then we, 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 we get our machine ready, throw our corn inside here, then we get our oil in there. We're actually going to get quite a bit of popcorn yeah. coming out of here. I'd say almost up to maybe like 150 servings that will come out from this pop in. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's the best part, the popcorn popping like that. Absolutely. You, you can smell that aroma, it's amazing. Fresh, fresh popcorn, straight off the table. Mm. As, as Delicious. The, as the popping stops, and yeah. we, just, we just dump out. Yo, the gun is there. Make sure we get all out. It's beautiful torment back here. Like watching your mother ice a cake, but having to wait until tea time to try it. So this is awesome. It's like going on a tour of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. <laughs> We've already cooked our famous caramel popcorn. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that this is, you, you're in stage two of the process, and this is where you could actually do whatever you wanted with the popcorn. In this case, we're going we're gonna to dose it with some of our Belgian chocolate. There's nothing happening. <laughs> That's not working. <laughs> Clearly my guns are not big enough for this job. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave to the expert. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Cool, man. Coolest accountant I've ever met. And I'm now completely emasculated, so I'm leaving the kitchen. <laughs> They'll also be serving softies of ice cream, paired with popcorn in hazelnut to red velvet and other mysterious flavors. 